Hey, this is Tickle, and in this video, we're going to go over 9.2 changes for Shaman. 9.2 has been in development for so long that you might not know all the things that are changing as they've been coming out in like trickles and sometimes there's a big update. So let's go ahead and run through it for all the Shaman specs. We'll cover PvE, PvP. This won't cover absolutely everything like, oh, how do, hey, how do I upgrade my conduits? Yada, yada, yada. We can do that separately, but this is the TLDR for Shaman. So let's jump into it. Number one, I'll put these links down below, but Wowhead has a few different, you can see four different tabs, but has a few different resources that you'll be able to see all the different changes. So let's go ahead, Shaman in general. Number Two things you need to know, uh, Ghost Wolf. We're getting two new forms. One looks like looks like an injured dog, and it makes me feel kind of bad, but I hope that maybe they'll tweak it right before the release. But Spectral Lupin and, and Spectral Vulpine. Vulpin, Lupin, whatever. Okay, overall, that is pretty cool. I'm glad to see that they're opening up to bringing in new Ghost Wolf forms. Some probably purists will stick with that Ghost Wolf, but so be it. Uh, I haven't seen the dances for these either. Every time I've gone to test those, they haven't been there. Next up, Frost Shock damage, Frost Shock damage is increased by 40%. Now this mostly impacts uh, Enhance because Ellie gets, that gets nerfed like <laughs> later. We'll talk about that. But specifically for Enhancement Shaman, this doesn't really, it's not nerfed, like Hailstorm wasn't compensated, like nerfed, anything like that. So this is actually an overall buff for Enhance. Buffs Hailstorm, our AOE build in Mythic Plus is overall a pretty good thing. And Frost Shock is even more of a filler due to some other changes for Enhance we're gonna be talking about. Overall, the TLDR of this whole update, Enhance gets a huge amount of buffs. Ellie doesn't really get touched very much. And Resto Shaman gets pretty cool tier sets. And now, well, and I, and I should have said that Ellie is now this permanent elemental pet builds are gonna be pretty interesting. Um, but that's the TLDR overall. Now let's go ahead and keep moving as quickly as we can. Chain Harvest. Venthyr ability now grants Maelstrom per target hit. It can hit five enemies and it can hit five allies. Um, so per enemy, per target hit, one cast while in elemental specialization. They're trying to make Venthyr more appeal, appealing, but I still don't really think that it's the best thing. I think for Enhance, really the legendary that you get with Venthyr makes this uh, pretty good because Chain Harvest's cooldown goes way down, especially with spreading of flame shock now with Lava Lash. Elemental Conduit, Venthyr Rune Carving, now also reduces the cooldown of Chain Harvest by one second when flame shock critically strikes. Like, okay. Uh, Splintered Elements, Necro Rune uh, rune Carving Power now increases haste by 10%, was 8% for 12 seconds. Uh, so this is a buff of time and the amount of haste. A lot of people are putting on their tinfoil hat, probably in running sims and running simulate and tests and saying that Enhance is going to be baller as a Necrolord. And you'll see some other things that we're gonna go over of changes that I kind of get it because the spenders are gonna be a huge part of the damage, much more than just the Wind Fury like procking damage for PvP and in general, the Storm Striking in uh, PvE. Now Unruly Wind's uh, uh, chance to trigger is now 15 to 50% based on item level was 20 to 35. So as we get the item levels of these conduits increased, we're gonna be able to get more benefits. So this is a buff to enhance. Ding, ding, ding. Magma Fist Conduit. Again, a critical strike chance went from 12 to 37%. Now it's 15 to 25. Sorry, now it is up to 37. It used to be max 25. That's also a good thing. Lava Lash getting basically a 12% crit, uh, crit chance buff at the end of the conduit. Uh, uh, eye level. This is the biggest one. By the way, this has all been about enhance, really, uh, and that's the overall message here. Focus Lightning Conduit. Damage or healing is increased now from 5 to 12% per Maelstrom stack versus what used to be 1 to 4.5%. That is, this is huge. This is a huge buff for El Enhanced Shaman. This means, and if you're maybe not as familiar, this is a conduit that based, uh, if you have five stacks of Maelstrom and you and you use a lightning bolt, it's instant cast. And this made it get increased the damage by 12%, uh, sorry, 4.5 times five stacks of Maelstrom percent. So almost 25% increased damage on your spender. Now it's five stacks 
times 12, 60% increased damage on your spender. So this is gonna be very big, especially with your tier sets and the other builds you can do. I have some videos on that in the channel, but Elemental Blast is going to blast kids in PvP and in PvE. It is gonna be pretty satisfying to play. So this is a huge buff for us. Uh, and then Chill to the Core, Chance to Trigger is now up to 72%, which used to be 35, so huge. This might be played, I'm not really sold on this one, mainly because it was basically Frost Shock, uh, basically has a 72% chance to trigger Maelstrom stacks for you. Maybe that's good now though, because you want a ton of Maelstrom procs, right? You want a ton of Maelstrom so you can keep using the spenders. So let's keep moving. Elemental, and then these are the other changes, and then Elemental. Like I said before, Frost Shock got buffed by 40%, so keep that in mind. The first change for Elemental is Ice Fury now causes your next four Frost Shocks to deal 225% increased damage. It used to be 300. This is a compensating change for buffing Frost Shock. Basically, the, what they said when the uh, this change originally happened was uh, uh, fundamentally, Ice Fury and your Frost Shocks will do the same amount of damage because of your Frost Shock buff and this adjustment. Uh, Fire Elemental has had mana cost abilities reduced by 90%. Basically, this is because of your tier set. You're basically going to be able to have a permanent Fire Elemental or Storm Elemental. And what was happening was the mana of your Elemental was running out because it would be up forever. So it's just spending mana, runs out, just stands there looking dumb. Sorry, looks cool. Storm Elemental, Talent Wind Gust, now lasts for the duration of the Storm Elemental. It used to be 30 seconds. This is also good because the duration of the Storm Elemental is now pretty much infinite if you do it right. Now, for more enhancement changes, Frost Shock, Flame Shock are no longer on a shared cooldown. Thank you, Blizzard. This was, these two abilities were on a shared cooldown and they were almost, that's almost the only abilities in the entire game that were on a shared cooldown. That doesn't happen very much and it was very weird and awkward that Enhancement had this. So this is a great quality of life change, even though overall damage profile, kind of minimal. But it makes it so you will basically always have a button to press now. Previously, you had to make some decisions and that just overcomplicated things. Um, mana, uh, Crash Lightning mana cost is reduced. So they basically had some mana reductions here and that's because people were running out of mana. Uh, on for well, whatever. They just needed to make that adjustment. Um, so that's fine. Lava Lash mana cost. Yeah. yeah. And then the other thing they did, if you Lava Lash, Lava Lash a target with Flame Shock on them, Lava Lash will now spread Flame Shock to up to three enemies nearby. Huge. Flame Shock spread. Great. We love it. It makes it so maybe Fire Nova will be viable. Something that people have been wanting since the beginning of Shadowlands and the introduction of that talent. If all enemies in the area are already affected by Flame Shock, it will refresh the duration poggers. Fair, uh, yeah, uh, feral spirits no longer show up under your unit frames, totem timer slot. This is to prevent too many spirits. Basically with your two set and your four set, you're gonna be spawning wolves all the time. Because of that, you're gonna have so many that you can't store them under your nameplate. So they've removed that, that's fine. Ice strike the talent and sundering talent can now properly cause the flame tongue weapon damage effect. Not sure why that's a huge deal. Let me know in the comments below. Ice strike and sundering are no longer able to be used while disarmed. Thanks, Blizzard. Thanks. Overall, those are the changes. As you can see, Shaman uh, Resto, where are you? They're nowhere to be seen. There's other There's other things we can talk about there. Uh, very small. So let's go ahead and go to talk about the tier sets. Tier sets, if you're an elemental shaman, rejoice. You get a permanent pet for your first time ever in World of Warcraft history. Number, your two set, remember your tier sets are gonna be a big part of the uh, reintroduction of them, I should say. It's gonna be a big part of this patch. Two set for el uh, uh, Elemental Shaman is while your Storm or your Fire Elemental is active, your Lava Burst deals 20% increased damage and you gain Lava Surge every eight seconds. So more procs, hooray! Lava Burst increased damage, hooray! That's big, especially because you can get permanent Fire and uh, Storm Ellie's which is, uh, okay, all, then all your Lava Bursts are gonna be doing more damage. So keep that up, uh, keep that in mind. The only awkward thing here is you might say to yourself, well, Tickle, when I'm using a Storm Elemental, I'm not using Lava Burst very much. You will, uh, I have a different video on this uh, that I've been waiting to put out, but you have to mix, to be able to get a permanent fire, uh, an Elemental out um, without using Skybreakers, you basically will have to use some Lava Bursts and, in your rotation because the Lava Burst, as you'll see, will extend the duration and you need that. So you will have to filter and awkwardly use the Lava Burst while Storm Ellies are out if you want it to be permanent. Does that make sense? Maybe not. But let's keep going. The video will explain it when I put that out very soon. Now your four set. 
Cast, uh, casting Lava Burst extends the duration of your Storm Elemental or Fire Elemental by, by 1.5 seconds. If your Storm Elemental or your Fire Elemental is not active, Lava Burst has a 20% chance to reduce the remaining cooldown. Basically, if it's up, it will keep it up, and if it's down, it'll get it back faster. So basically, your lava, your your elementals are going to be spitting. I mean, they're going to be out pretty much the whole time as long as you kind of can keep that up time. In PVE, yeah. I'm talking, you can literally, with Storm Elemental, get 20 stacks of, of Chain Lightning build, and then if you recast the Storm Elemental, you keep that buff. So let's say, for example, you keep your Storm Elemental up for five minutes, right? Just, I'm throwing it out there. And you have your 20 stacks of casting your Chain Lightnings, giving you increased cast speed. Let's say you're about to run, your Storm Elemental is about to despawn, but you ha can use the ability again because the um the cooldown has been like just has re been reset the 2.5 minutes has passed if you resummon your storm ellie you will keep those stacks of your increased cast speed and it will refresh the timer which is awesome and a cool way to min max elemental shaman abilities so that's the two set four set enhanced shaman your uh, uh, your two set spending maelstrom weapon has a three percent chance to stack um uh, per stack to summon a, a feral spirit. Now you might say to yourself, "Well, take a, a lot of spenders for using Maelstrom weapon." Seems like you're going to have those a lot. Well, you are, and they're going to do increased damage because of the buffs we just talked about. And so you're going to be spending and trying to build, spend, build, spend rapidly. So you are going to be literally vomiting feral spirits out your face, and which is pretty cool. Now it only lasts for nine seconds, which isn't the full duration of normal uh, feral spirits uh, here, which is 15 seconds. Um, but it's going to be pretty cool. Now you will be able to mix this. And you think about it. Okay, they're spawning. Well, if you use uh, the talent, which makes your um, uh, feral spirits give you a buff fire dogs ice dogs um lightning dogs they will modify your abilities and give you further buffs it is more rng but it could be a pretty cool way to play and you might see some rng times when you get a lot of stacking of the same wolves which is pretty cool now your four set is your feral spirits attacks have a 20 percent chance to trigger stormbringer stormbringer by the way increases the damage of your storm strike and resets the cooldown now this is very 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 important the combination of all this is a great has great synergy with the enhancement shaman build and it will satisfy some of the things that people have been complaining about number one i don't have a button to press well between the, the flame shock frost shock decoupling that cooldown and the two set four set you are going to have so many spenders to spend light things lighting up on your bar and dogs vomiting out of your face that you you're gonna have a shitload of buttons to press and it's gonna be pretty satisfying the other thing is with this kind of build the focus, in my view, will go less, it will go away from Doom Winds and it will go to Witch Doctor Wolf Bones, which will further power this machine that will be the dog machine. You spend your mouth, you build your mouse room, you spend it very quickly through your talents, through your, um, you know. Uh, rotation so it's gonna be really cool this is uh, extremely extremely satisfying I have to say unlike sorry elemental shamans but unlike elemental elementals build and rotation won't be changing very much enhances will I don't I don't see elementals like the legendaries are not going to be changing too much I think single target you'll be using um, the on earth shot get for, uh, uh, an instant cast lava burst why can wind speakers yeah thanks uh, and uh, you know wind speakers you skybreaker could be potentially possible to keep up the uh, elementals as well as keeping your flame shocks critting a lot so I, I see that being the same. Enhance is going to be different. You're going to use either you're going to either use lava actuators or you're going to use probably most people are going to use witch doctor wolf bones um, in here as well. I think that con covenant wise, I think it's going to be generally the same covenants you've been focusing you know for these, but we'll have to see. Um, now the, to resto, finally something for resto shamans out there. Can we hear it in the chat? Uh, resto shamans two set heal the soul. Your critical strikes increase the critical chance of your next chain heal by two percent, stacking up. To 50 times now critical heals include your totem pulses that's what i i haven't tested this out actually but someone did tell me it like your healing stream totem your crits will actually give you this stacking buff which is really cool your chain heal which i feel like has been largely neglected in pvp realm for some time and and in even pve uh your your chain heal crits reduce the remaining cooldown on one of your totems by two seconds your healing stream totem your healing tide totem your mana tide totem your spirit link totem uh now also cast chain heal when you drop them pretty cool awesome because you are stacking crit anyway and to be honest 
this is going to be really fun in pvp that's where i think this will be very interesting and, uh, and something new that brings a new flavor to pvp uh, shamans because you could use a chain heal build in pvp and if you're getting this uh, kind of rolling uh if you get reduced cooldowns on your healing stream your healing tide your mana tide or spear link those are all critical cooldowns in pvp particularly healing tide if you start shaving off seconds on that it's already down to 1.5 wait if you get that down to one minute that's a pretty big deal especially rpgs huge deal um so it's it's very cool also if you think about it, your critical heals you know you think about uh in pve you know healing rain you start critting a, your entire raid group this could have a, a a kind of an amplifying cool cyclic effect that i think similar to enhance has that elemental kind of has it with the the elementals being spun up and there's like kind of a loop there that you're trying to get through a little bit different though because you'll be able to maintain those elementals so much so that's the tier sets lastly let's go ahead over a few other pvp only things i want to call out number one solo shuffle brawl games i'm very disappointed that this is not a ranked ranked version of the game it seems that blizzard is slow rolling it a bit but at least there will be war games uh, for solo shuffle this is the solo queue that you've been hearing about i'm a little disappointed that it's just not all just done but it is what it is now in terms of pvp the only change for resto shaman is the root effect of earth grab now properly counts absorb damage when determining if enough damage has been taken to break the root i don't think that's going to be like i don't think people are going to worry too much about that one but worth calling out as well as these changes which, which i'm going to have a different video talking about the pvp only stuff but down here there is a nerf to enhancement shaman and their healing it's going from uh, it was reduced by 20 percent healing in in pvp uh, now it's about 30 percent reduction now i'm not freaking out about this i've heard some people get kind of frustrated i'm not going to lie to you i don't think it's a nerf at all i think that this is actually just a com uh, it's just adjusting for the scaling of the game the healing actually probably was getting ridiculous and it's is scaling much higher and much faster in, in in terms of healing than damage and i think that now that everyone's going to have much more main stats much more secondary stats a much more health pool that they're just adjusting for scaling so i'm not really too worried about this at all uh we've seen word of glory go through this as well like uh, getting nerfed with their talents and all the stuff i think this is just uh you know we're we're going to get 30 more item levels soon 30 40 more item levels soon and because of that they have to make these adjustments so i'm not really worried about i'm not really worried about it at all so guys that's it i wanted to go over the changes the tier sets the pvp little things the other things here we'll talk about in a different video but i wanted to go through it so that you know what's coming the biggest thing is this page and these adjustments because this gives you a sense and the tier sets give you a sense for how what spec is getting the most changes i've had so many people ask me the question tickle should i go ellie should i go resto what's the tldr what's changing the answer is really enhance is getting just focused on getting buffed the rotation uh the, kind of the feeling of the class and spec is going to be different it's going to become more hybrid focused because your spenders are going to be doing literally si like 50 percent more damage like focus lightning that buff is crazy your frost shock is going to be doing more damage so you're gonna have more aoe you're gonna have more single target spenders it might open up the opportunity for necro lord as well i'm not sold on that i actually still think venther is king but yeah from an elemental perspective you're not getting your damage profile changed not like enhance but you are getting that permanent elemental through your two set four set which is cool it's unique get into it the other thing is lava burst is getting buffed while you have those puppies up why uh, uh basically getting some more lava burst surges uh in my rotation test in that separate video i literally could not press any other button in the single target rotation other than lava burst which some people will say is boring i like it i like lava burst i wanted to do more damage make this 100 percent increase try me let's go and then with resto resto the two set four set very interesting i would almost say that this is an intellectual build this will be interesting to see how does that oh i'm gonna i'm gonna get, i'm gonna try to get crits i'm gonna try to get a lot of crits i'm gonna try to get the chain heal up i'll spend it reduce the cooldown and see how that cycle will work i'm really excited about that um otherwise that's about it not a lot of pvp changes across the board those are the changes for shaman i hope you're ready for 9.2 i'm very pumped about it it'll be very cool i'm looking forward to doing a lot of pve the raid better not be poopy but i'm i'm sure it will be great guys with that being said we'll see you in the next one or on stream if you do like the video hit that sub button that like button i know only 17 percent of you have been pressing that so get on it we'll see you in the next one or in the next video take care